everyone. Welcome to Real to Real, the movie review show that everybody loves. My name is Jeff. And my name is Gabe. And today we're reviewing season one of the Disney Plus exclusive series, Loki. With season two of Loki right around the corner, today seemed the perfect time to take a dive into the god of mischief. With all that being said, let's take a look at the trailer. For Asgard. Obi? Hello? We have a little bit of a situation we wanted to run by you. Mobius! Wow! Great to see you again! That, that's what's been happening. Wow! Time slipping. Wait, time, you know that? Yeah. You've seen that? Yeah. Can you fix that? No. It's impossible to time slip in the TVA. I know, but we just saw it happen. Yeah. I've been pulled through time between the past and the present. Hello? If what I saw is true, there's nothing to stand between this world and utter destruction. Only one way to find out. A little good old-fashioned legwork. Listen, we have different styles. You're a man of action, which is fine. I take a more slow, deliberate, cerebral approach. It's really goodbye. It's up to us to save this place. Is this cracked? Yes, babe. Whatever we do, we're playing God. We are gods. Who lives and who dies? Make the hard choice. It's him. You better run! War is in its way. Come on, you're the god of mischief. Always have been, always will be. over the top, don't you think? I thought it was spot on. Loki is a Disney Plus series that follows the events of, well, Loki and his misadventures through the Marvel's extended and split timelines. At the beginning, Loki, played by Tom Hiddleston, is captured by a mysterious group called the Time Variance Authority, or the TVA. When he makes it, when he makes a new timeline after the Battle of New York that takes place back in the first Avengers movie. Loki does this by using the Tesseract, an ancient artifact that can open wormholes and allow space travel. He's been brought to the base of the headquarters of the TVA and is accused of crimes against the sacred timeline and is being held prisoner there. Loki tries to tell the TVA that the interruption of the, in the timeline was the Avengers' fault, but they inform him that their actions were necessary to the timeline while he has caused damage. Later, Loki is assigned a TVA agent named Mobius, played by Owen Wilson, who takes him to the Time Theater and shows him his past, to then question him on his past and the people he's hurt as the god of mischief. After being made uncomfortable by confronting his sins and wrongdoings, he attempts to escape but gives up after realizing that the power of the TVA exceeds the power of the Infinity Stones which were at some point in the Marvel Universe the most powerful weapons in the whole MCU. Loki then returns back to the Time Theater and after more interrogation finds out that he caused the death of his mother. He even witnesses his own death by Thanos back in Infinity War. He finally agrees to help the TVA with a rogue agent going on a killing spree, taking out TVA agents and resetting separate timelines. Loki goes out on a mission to repay his debt and stop the rogue agent to only find out that there are many different versions of Loki out there, camped somewhere on other timelines. This whole multiverse and timeline thing can get confusing. So let's take a look at the sacred timeline before it was broken with this behind the scenes clip about season two. Loki season two, take one. Three, two, one. Sorry. <laughs> 
thing about this job is the set. It's always alive and everyone is part of it. Tom is really great. He's always honest and hilarious. Working with Tom, it was like being a kid again. He can't, he can't do it. We need to get someone else. He's a bit saggy. Owen Wilson elevates the whole series. He's so intelligent and witty. Do I need to play it the whole thing with my hands on my hips? Where did this come from? <laughs> the entire experience of shooting this is going to stay with me for many, many years. It's a really special group of people, like extended family. They keep the joy in the room. All of them do. That's quite magical. The fans will love it just as much as we enjoy making it. Loki started streaming back on June 9th of 2021, only on Disney+, Plus, but started production all the way back in August of 2019. The opening episode of the series brought in a record amount of three, 731 million minutes of viewing time in the first month of the show's release. And to this day, Loki is the most watched Marvel show of all time. The first episode of the season had 10.9 million views in the first three days. But the money made from the show isn't stated anywhere, but if I had to guess, it made a lot of money. Season 2 for the show just started premiering and had a budget of $141.3 million, with each episode costing $22 million each, which obviously proves what a success Season 1 was. It was filmed in June of 2022 at Pinewood Studios in London. Loki was also nominated for a lot of awards, and everybody can agree that Tom Hiddleston's acting was marvelous. The show was also intended to have a major impact on the Marvel Cinematic Universe, so we'll have to see how it affects it as time goes on. Well, I think that's enough chit-chat. We gotta keep these lights on. Let's roll that commercial. We really try and keep track of what's going on in the world as far as what are the trends. And so when a student comes here, they're learning the marketing aspects of video production with turnkey. So they learn how to write, storyboard, and capture video, set lights, set audio, and then they learn how to edit everything from start to finish. We believe that we are providing a transformative educational experience. It's hands-on, it's project-based, it's portfolio-based, it's based on real-world industry experiences. They take deep dives on all of these. You know, a lot of the classes are tiered, so you get an entry-level course, and then and advanced and then you know you get your capstone projects where you're bringing them all together so it, it's nice the way that they structure it and help you get a deeper understanding of stuff that you may or may not have thought you already had a good handle on i'm not going to lie i've already watched half of season two already but taking it back to season one this show is flat out great going into it i wasn't really sure what to expect and i didn't even think i i didn't know if i was going to like it because you know i'm more of a thor god of thunder type of guy but man I'm kind of a Loki guy now. From the great acting, visual effects, sound design, and just the whole atmosphere of the show was great. This show really shows you how powerful Loki is. We all know that he's a god, but Thor always overshadowed him. Now seeing him solo, he's very powerful. And the whole direction Marvel's going in with the multiverse all leads into this show, which I thought was awesome. Seeing 50 Lokis on the screen at one time was cool, but had to be expensive. And bringing a girl Loki into the idea of the show was, I thought was great. It shows Loki's personality as a person, but all in all, the God of Mischief got his own show and it did not disappoint. If you have Disney Plus, I highly recommend you go check it out. I'm gonna give the Loki show an easy five out of five reels. Jeff, what did you think? I've been a Loki fanboy since the first Avengers film came out and I wanna say it's what got me into comics way back when. So. When he finally got his own show, I was super excited. They showed him as an absolute trickster, which is what he is, and being a pain to everybody around him. The show is showing off more of a human side of Loki, which is funny because he's actually Asgardian, with the time theater, which made him feel bad. You know, you feel bad for him because you can see that Mobius keeps digging at his head and his heart, trying to really needle him. And you see him start slowly feeling pain and regret. It's the emotional weight of the whole show. It just makes him look so much more empathetic and not just like a dagger-throwing maniac. 
The twists and turns of each episode expand the story not only of the shows, but as the MCU as a whole. Plus, the introduction of Kang the Conqueror through this show was a great idea. And it feels like a huge puzzle that's unfolding right in front of you. So, due to this, I'm going to go ahead and give Loki five out of five reels. Okay, that brings us to the end of our show. Go ahead and follow us on YouTube for more live streams every Friday, and follow our Facebooks for more movie and show reviews. I am always Jeff. And I'm Gabe. And we hope to all see you next week, and have a good weekend. And join us back here on... For as... As... Real to real.